What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of 7800 Avenue. Should we say... Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all. Yes. You know, the great thing about 7800 Avenue is we can play 7800 games. Yeah. And we can play... 2600. 2600 games. And what are we playing today, Mason? This is a doozy here for Christmas. We are playing E.T. E.T. It's had it's had a bad rap, but we're just gonna wait and see how it is. Because you you never played it, right? Yeah, I've never played it. Okay. I, I know there's a lot, a lot of controversy. You like people say it's like the worst game ever made. So you've played some pretty bad Atari games, yeah. right? Like what what are some bad ones? Fishing Derby, Frog Pond, and 3D Tic Tac Toe. Yeah, those are those are not the best games. Yeah. We have a sealed copy, never been opened, yeah. of E.T. And the good thing about that is it has the instructions. I think a lot of people are saying that it's a bad game because they don't have the instruction manu manual and they don't know how to play. That's right. I remember picking it up at the swap meet, you know, with just the cartridge and going, well, like, how do you play this game? Yeah. So we have the instructions. We know how to play. This copy was purchased at Pixel Vault Games. Yeah, Pixel Vault's awesome. Right, you know uh, Armando, he was in the Donkey Kong episode. That was a good episode. Well, what do you think? It's Christmas time, I think it's time for some E.T. Yeah, why not? Why don't you pop that open and let's see what this is all about. I know what it's all about because I was there when it came out originally. I don't know, I don't know what it's all about. He doesn't know what it's about though. I know it's about an alien. especially for systems from Atari. The video game that lets you help E.T. get home. Just in time for Christmas. Happy Holidays from Atari. Okay, let's see, here we go. So there's the cartridge. Brand spanking new. Yeah. I'm gonna smell it. it smells new. Instructions, how to control E.T. Okay, so this was a cheat sheet that Atari put in because they knew that they had problems with this game. They knew it was a little bit difficult and it had some challenges and this basically was a good starting point on how to play this game. So you had almost two instruction manuals. This says start with game number three. This is, this is levitating out of wells calling the ship, how to control E.T., everything is right here for us. We also got a uh, Atari catalog. Take a look at that. There's also a little advertisement for uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. And the official instruction manual. So I think we've got everything that we need yeah. to play this game. We have our controller, we have the game. I hope you have your Atari twist ready to go. This holiday season, you don't get the Atari twist, no. you just stick with the water. Yeah. And let's play some E.T. Well, there is E.T. And what's cool about this is this was one of the few games for Atari to have a title screen. That's right. I remember seeing this title screen for the first time and it really blew me away. It was like, yeah. wow. We're playing on a whole new level here. Not only was it the most popular movie at the time, but... It had a title screen. It had a title screen, and you got to play it on your Atari. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Alrighty. So... Okay, get that Reese's Pieces. Now, go back to the question mark there. Ooh. Hit your button. Ah, there you go. Oh, oh, dang it. Wrong pit. Go up. Oh. Okay. Yep, there you go. Oh, 
There you go. All right, good. Does E.T. have the power to levitate? Um, I'm sure he had a bunch of powers. Oh, watch out. Oh, gosh. Creeper peeper. Trench kill Run. guy. Is he gone? Hey, 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 hey. Hit your button and run. You go fast. Yay. There you go. Oh, watch out. Don't run too fast, though. Can't go too sanic fast. Who's that? It's a scientist. So you got um, a FBI agent and a scientist trying to get you. And Ernie. Oh. <laughs> I keep falling into the hole. You gotta move over before you let go. Okay. But remember, Don't, what the no part of your body can touch the, the hole. Hmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Okay. Get out of here. This is... Where, where's the instruction book? The, it's right here. Levitating out of wells, young man. Even experienced extraterrestrials sometimes have a difficulty levitating out of wells. Well, that's my Start problem. to levitate E.T. by first pressing the controller. Okay. Neck, stretch out his neck as he rises to the top of the well. Just when he reaches the top of the well and the scene changes to the planet's surface, stop! Do not try to keep moving. Oh, okay. No. Uh oh. He got you. Maximum waggle. All right. Okay. So now. Escape out of ancient Rome. Oh. Should, you want to switch it to level three so you could actually like play it? Or are you good with this? I, I, I'm I'm good with this. Okay. I, I like a challenge. All right, great. So this is what you've been playing, Christmas morning. Get out! Nobody wants you. Nobody wants you here. Man, you're getting wrecked. These guys are taking me to ancient Rome. What am I supposed to do? Okay. You're gonna run out of energy here pretty soon. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Save me. Yay. Ernie saved him. All right, give it to me. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, there it is. All right, got the first piece of the phone. Yes. Is this the worst Atari game you've ever played? No, it's got some challenge and skill. It's pretty good. Okay, is that it? Do I get all the pieces? All the f I got it. All right, so now I got a phone. Ellie. Now I got a phone home. Oh, I got to give Elliot the candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is. Where's the landing zone? Oh no, I got a call. What's the landing zone? Um. Landing zone is the the one that looks like a scope. Yeah, I did that one. It looks the. Oh, what? there it is. There it is. Hey, come here, Ernie. All right, so I gave him the candy. Call ship zone. Yeah. Looks like this. Looks oh, it's like, like a looks like a space invader. No, it looks like a meatball with legs. All right, I gotta look for the meatball with legs. Et, you better call home because your friends are waiting for you. Do you know what the giving Elliot Reese's pieces does? Points. Nope. What? It gives you an extra phone piece, but you have the full set already. Oh. It's not ancient Rome, it's Washington, D.C. Oh man, good thing we had that manual. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Boom, okay, timer starts. Get to the spawn point. Go. Move them little alien legs. Get to the landing zone. No, down, down, it's down. Right there. Yeah, stay right there. Okay, boom. E.T. that's how you beat it and call your friends. Everybody wants to see E.T. go home. Okay. Yes. Ooh, look at that. Cutscenes. 
I know, it's like different stages. Yeah. Different characters. From Boom. Oh, how you like me now, E.T.? Here we go, your turn. Oh, okay. Just keep playing it over again, over again. While Mason plays E.T., I'm gonna look at this Atari catalog and figure out what games I wanna get. For Christmas. For Christmas, yeah. I wanna make sure Santa gets my list. Yeah. Pits! I'm still landing pad. Yeah, it was a level, it was a green level that had pits in it. Just all the levels. No, there's a forest, there's a Washington DC. Come pretty, on, man. Pretty much all the levels. Give Elliot some candy. Give me that candy. Man, he just snatched it and ran. <laughs> he didn't even say hello, high five, nothing. Pits! P -p 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 pits And... Oh. Alright, well we just got done playing E.T. Mason, you played it for the first time, what are your thoughts? Yes. It wasn't as bad as everybody said. Yeah, I think you're right. Mm -hmm. I still think it's a great game, I think it... I think it's a lot of fun and you know maybe there's a part of me that there's a nostalgia factor that yeah. plays into it you know I mean E.T. was everywhere it was like Star Wars you know mm -hmm. Star Wars was everywhere E.T. was everywhere you got your Star Wars Christmas yeah. sweater on well Mason you got to see what a lot of kids played Christmas morning what do you think it was pretty good yeah Speaking of Christmas morning, what about your Christmas list? Are you still working on it or what's going on? Yeah, I'm still working on it. Anything uh, big this year? A pug. A pug? Yes. Well, we need to talk to Millie about that one. <laughs> See if she's going to want another dog in the house. I don't know if Daddy wants another dog in the house, but we'll see. Well, it was very cool to play this game, and not only was it cool to play this game, but it was cool to actually open it up from the box and see yeah. everything that came with it. This is like a time machine right here. You know? Yeah, basically. Looking at this stuff, looking at the artwork on the box. I mean, the artwork's beautiful. Did the this not just scream adventure? Yeah, I mean, and we did. We had a great adventure with yeah. it. Well, Mason, it was awesome to share E.T. with you. Yes, it was. I, uh, I really enjoyed playing these old games with you. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yep, we have a good time. What's your favorite one? Uh, Dig Dug. Dig Dug. Well, we're going to make sure that you're back on this show when we do the 7800 version of Dig Dug, yes. which is excellent. Until then, Merry Christmas. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I hope everybody gets what they want this year. Yes, me too. Yeah. Sounds like a good wish. Yeah. All right, Merry Christmas. We'll see you guys next time on 7800 Avenue or Lynx Lounge or the Jag Bar. Check out Atari.io for the very best in retro life and classic gaming. From Atari to Nintendo, Sega, TurboGrafx, and beyond. Atari.io